Russia has now turned off 45% of the gas to Poland uh, as the colder weather begins to set in. And it's setting in all over the world a little early this year. Earliest snowfall on record in South Dakota. That story is out of the Argus Leader. It's a cool name, Argus. Out of the Argus Leader. Uh, and it's up on DrudgeReport.com. It's all part of uh, the earth cooling now. Well, it stopped heating 19 years ago. And then it's been cooling for about five to six, depending on what numbers you look at. And it has nothing to do with humans. It's that ball of gas up there in the sky. A couple of years ago, it started cooling down and not being as active. In overall heat, it's putting off generally. And so the earth cooled. I, I, I'm not a physicist, an astrophysicist, though I do interview them here and I do read the publications. But I don't need to be an astrophysicist to know that when you live closer to the equator, it's hotter because the sun hits you more. And the sun hits the Arctic and Antarctic obliquely, sometimes not for months, so it's 50, 60, 70 below. I, 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 I mean, if I stuck my head in an oven that was on, it would burn me. If I turn it off, it won't be hot. But the UN five years ago, when everybody was pointing out it was the sun, they said no, and they had a vote. And they voted and said the sun, does, quote, does not affect climate. Which is another statement like two plus two equals whatever the government says. No, it equals four. And that's what we've reached here. This is all on purpose, and I now am sure of that. And I've read publications where they admit that they're throwing it in our face. You guys get me the Carl Rove, we're history's actors now, full quote. Just type in Carl Rove, we're history's actors, quote, and it's all over the place. Where he told the New York Times and Washington Post, we can tell you that the moon is made of cheese, you will buy it. It's just like when O'Brien is torturing Winston. And Brian you know, says, I'm going to keep torturing you until you say what I want. He goes, I've already said that four plus four equals a million and two plus two equals ten. And he goes, I want you to see every number and, and not be able to make a decision and believe whatever I say. I'll say it's four, I'll say it's ten, I'll say it's twenty. And finally, Winston gets it and is mentally broken. That's what's happening here with the open arming of Al-Qaeda. I mean, that will teach ISIS and Al-Qaeda to give them unlimited funds. And boy, he's a war president. He's going to get tough on them. They're going to overthrow Assad, folks.